For our utopian city, we chose to focus on Bologna, Italy. Bologna currently has a population of around 400,000 people. The first nature features of Bologna are that the surrounding areas are nutrient-rich soil that are beneficial to growing agriculture. Bologna is near the two largest rivers in Italy and is also relatively close to the sea. Bologna also has a strategic location in the middle of the country, centralized between other large cities in Italy. The second nature features of Bologna include using the slopes of the nearby Mont Gileto mountain to create a small wind farm 20 kilometers from the city. Bologna also uses the Roman aqueducts to provide a portion of their water source. Bologna has also used its central location to become a major hub on truck and rail lines. In order to decrease automobile use and promote walking, Bologna has a system of covered walkways called porticos that line the buildings and streets and allow people to walk in all types of weather. For one of our existing sustainable features, we looked at installing a subway system in order to preserve land and aesthetics while still offering a quick and efficient method of transportation. Obviously, there are many examples of subways worldwide, both successes and failures, but we decided to utilize features from three of the best in the world to create a hybrid system that should be both economically profitable and environmentally friendly. We used Hong Kong, Madrid, and Tokyo for our examples, and while Bologna's population is not nearly as large as those of these cities, we believe that the benefits will scale well. Hong Kong's MTR is known for its cleanliness, reliability, and to the second timeliness. But its real distinction is that it's one of the few systems that turns a profit. The company rents out shop space and subway stations and owns the real estate along its tracks, which it develops to build revenue, further enhancing the running experience and gaining new riders. Madrid Metro was chosen because its system boasts environmentally friendly cleaning. The washing system, for example, recycles 80% of the water used in the cleaning of the vehicles, saving, in 2004, more than 11 million liters of water in cleaning tasks. Another device is a purifier of the industrial liquids that are poured during the maintenance process. It treats an average of 1,700 cubic meters of liquid waste a year. Also, there is a special cabin in which trains are put in shape with compressed air, with filters that collect resulting particles, stopping the filth from getting out. When the East Japan Railway Company decided to invest in alternative energy sources, it only had to look to its users for the perfect source of energy. On one of their stations, they installed a revolutionary new piezoelectric energy generating floor. The system harvests the kinetic energy generated by crowds to power ticket gates and display systems. By combining the economical model of Hong Kong with the sustainability models of Madrid and Tokyo, we believe that Bologna could have the world's best subway system given time and correct planning. It would be efficient, space-saving, and environmentally friendlier than any other system worldwide. Senator Chiu Chen has conceived of an ingenious transit system that encourages the use of sustainable transportation by crediting people for renting and riding bicycles. His Hybrid 2 system consists of a fleet of rentable bicycles that are capable of generating and storing kinetic energy, which is then used to power the city's hybrid electric buses. Simply rent a bike, charge it up with the kinetic energy from pedal power, and then return it to a kiosk. The station feeds energy to the city's grid, and you receive a credit towards your next bus pass. The core of the Hybrid 2 is Chen's regenerative braking system for bikes dubbed High Brake, which allows riders to generate and store energy from braking and normal biking in an ultra capacitor. In Chen's vision, the more energy a bicyclist generates, the more monetary credit they are given to use on public transportation. Eco boulevards are defined as integration and connectivity between ecological and social systems. The design and purpose behind eco boulevards is based on an innovation of simple roadways, allowing roadways to double as a water filtration system and a source of landscaping that provides social, economical, environmental, and energy based benefits. The designs are case by case, meaning each eco boulevard can be customized to fit any city. The combination of natural ecosystems along with hydroponic living systems creates the opportunity to recycle 100% of a city's water source. Currently, Chicago has launched its proposal for what they call growing water to implement an eco boulevard beginning in the next few years. Smaller scale eco boulevards can already be found in France and Spain. The campaign for growing water in Chicago has outlined the advantages of their project which could easily be replicated in our city of choice, Bologna. Social benefits include an even spread of open green space throughout a city. This aspect is likely to increase outdoor activity amongst urban dwellers and the growth of urban gardens. It also promotes equality by providing a physical link between all social classes. 
Beyond water filtration, the environmental benefits include a reduction in the urban heat island effect, increased filtration of CO2, and increased biodiversity in insect populations as well as other wildlife. Eco boulevards can potentially stimulate the economy of a city by raising land values as a result of landscaping. Also, the fact that the city is now sustainable in regards to water allows for more economic growth instead of concentration on water shortages. From an energy standpoint, eco boulevards successfully reduce the need to pump and treat rainwater and also reduces the amount of runoff into storm sewages, raising efficiency. If Bologna could draw in water from the two nearby water sources and create an eco boulevard that acts as the city's circumference in possible dissecting routes, then recycle the water back into the original waterways, the city could create a self sustaining water supply and reap all the benefits that accompany an eco boulevard. Retrofitting is the process of incorporating new technologies into older existing establishments. One of the biggest retrofitting movements is located in Portland, Oregon. The Clean Energy Works Portland is a program that offers financial support for qualified homes to make eco-friendly installments such as new insulation, high efficiency furnaces, and water heaters. The benefit is that this program eliminates the cost of eco-friendly installments that are so intimidating to homeowners. Easing the economic burden helps to prioritize environmentalism. The overall goal of the program is to reduce carbon emissions, create jobs, save energy, and keep housing affordable. In a city such as Bologna, in which an overwhelming majority of the buildings are very aged, implementing a similar plan would be very beneficial. Constantly upgrading homes to include the best and most efficient appliances and installments will help to sustain energy and upkeep property values. The European Mobility Week campaign is a project that the municipality of Bologna participates in. The campaign is to encourage public awareness of the need to act against pollution caused by the increase in motor, motorized traffic in the urban environment. In fact, it is not just a question of fighting atmospheric pollution or noise, but also of improving the quality of urban life. The focus of the 2010 program was represented by the two days of events dedicated to the promotion of sustainability by the municipality of Bologna. This effort was in collaboration with public and private sector and aims to spread the message of sustainable consumption and lifestyles. Such events dedicated to healthy and sustainable lifestyles were had in the compound of Piazza Migiore and Pisa Nettuno. Several initiatives were proposed to citizens and stakeholders around the city during the entire week. The events will focus on cycling, walking, and public transfer transportation use new services and opportunities to practice sustainable mobility with the central theme of matching the edition of European Mobility Week, Travel Smart, Live Better. Another event was a safe riding course for schools, children, and families that, were, that was provided by the Bologna Municipal Police Department. During these courses, the officers will explain the meaning of road signs, the basic traffic rules, and the basic principles of safe riding. The last event that we will talk about uh, the people of Bologna were shown how to make objects, including bicycles, using only recycled materials. One of the events was an information service which was activated to help people to identify the best home, school, or homework connection by bicycle. The aim of such service managed by the municipality of Bologna was to answer the cyclists' questions, to support them in their everyday movements, and to boost their use of bicycles. Italian architects are becoming more interested in incorporating roofing that integrates solar panels, the latest system of double skin walls with a high level of insulation. Many architects are seeking to improve their skills and knowledge in the field of energy conservation, using renewable energy sources and new eco-friendly materials. Solar tiles capture sunlight and transform it into energy. It is slowly becoming the preferred alternative to regular electricity and heating. Financially, solar roofing dramatically reduces both heating and electricity bills by providing enough output to power the entire house or building and integrating advanced plumbing systems. The heating and cooling costs can be cut up to 30% using solar tiles. Solar roofing tiles are very important for the integration of sustainability and better living in Bologna. For our innovation, we, our original idea was to have solar-powered gondolas that would be used to bring commuters from the surrounding areas into the heart of the city without increasing congestion. Upon conducting research, however, we found that a city in Colombia had already achieved this feat. Medellin used a semi-solar powered system to power their gondolas. This system works well for Medellin because the surrounding area is made up of hills. 
For the same reason, Bologna would benefit because its outskirts are also very hilly and because the heart of the city is congested due to roads that were never meant for automobiles. The difference between Medellin's system and ours would be that we would create enough solar panels to power the gondolas completely. By constructing solar panel trees that absorb energy efficiently at all times of the day, we should be more than capable of fulfilling the energy needs for our system. By implementing this system along with our subway and rent-a-bike system, we would get rid of the bus system that was no longer necessary and that causes so much of the existing congestion.